C5, C6-ish, where, where the spinous process. So you want to come lateral to the spinous process. You're going to have one thumb palpating lateral to that spinous process. The other thumb is going to push on that spinous process, okay? And I'm going to do a transverse. So I'll get the, the bed up a little bit so I can go in a, in a more transverse plane. Okay, so there I'm going to feel, just like with any mobilization, you're going to feel kind of where R1 comes in and then where R2 comes in. You okay, Bob? Yeah. yeah. Any, anything pinchy or how you doing? Um, it's a little tender? A little yeah, tender. Tender? Okay. At R2. Okay. So then I'm going to go through my oscillations, okay? So I can go through a... You know, a grade one, which is very small. Grade two, so R1. It's a smaller amplitude, a larger amplitude. Grade three, I'm going to take it to end. Come off and larger amplitude. So here you may get a little bottom jiggle. <laughs> so you try to kind of get. And then grade four is at end range and a small amplitude. So just a different way of just mobilizing. And Maitland says you're, you're opening the right side. Is that right? We're going to? When you go to the right. Mm -hmm. yep. So a lot of times this can work well if someone, if I'm trying to work that right side and they're very painful there and they can't tolerate, you know, my unilaterals, I may come from the left and indirectly mobilize that area. So you want your left hand, so I'm going to go towards her left, grab her chin, my third and fourth, I'm going to come around and put her head almost in my, my delt pec area. So I'm going to have her head in a nice comfortable position. And I'm just going to take her into rotations, okay? And with this one, you're really using your arms. You're not using, you're not using your body. So a lot of times, you know, we've told you to kind of use your body. But with this one, you're using your arms, okay? So I can do a, a small grade one movement. I can do grade two. I can kind of try to feel where resistance kind of comes on a little bit. So I'm going to do a grade two. Grade three, so where her end range? You okay? Mm -hmm. So this is this is really good for the VA problems, I think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> right. Is this again like um, lumbar rotations for pain relief usually? Yeah. So you only usually do one or two. Yeah. Well. You could use it. You could use it for limit. Right. Yeah. When you're doing, you know, I could do a grade four. So it's pretty aggressive, right? Yeah. Thinking about VA and all that, taking them to end range. So, we're just showing you just to, to know that it does exist. Do I use it a lot? To be honest, not really. And then go ahead and slide down for me. So, that, you know, there are multiple ways of doing traction. So, one way is having your hand on the occiput. You can try to localize it at a specific level, let's say C5-6. And what I'll do is just stabilize the forehead and then just almost distract locally at C5-6 this way. So I'm just, it's going to be a little movement. So this is sometimes that hot cervical radic patient. And I'll just do a gentle traction, just trying to get some pain relief. You okay? Yes. How's that feel? All right. Yeah. Is your left hand just holding the head? My left hand, yes. It's kind of holding the occiput. And you're sitting, but... You're kind of going into extension a little bit? Uh, maybe a little bit. Okay. Yeah, maybe a little extension. Okay. And just also doing a bit of a distraction. What you can also do is, if they're not that irritable, is even pull a little bit more using your body of attraction. And this is kind of just like, like if they respond well to this, can you then do mechanical traction maybe? Even? Yeah, you could. Cool. And how long do you pull for? Sorry. No, depends. Like 20, 30 seconds. Depends how tired I am. <laughs> mm -hmm.
And then you could also do suboccipital, get in the suboccipital region. And I'm doing traction now. So here I just have her head resting. It's a different way. So you can oscillate it or hold it. Okay. So you can get specific at a specific level with your index finger and just do just a little, little mini pull. So this is a kind of that highly irritable, hot, radicular type patient where they may not tolerate this huge long longitudinal pull that you just want to get more specific and then just do a gentle pull. Just getting, trying to see if you can get a little bit of relief. Okay, because sometimes that hot, ridiculous patient doing too strong of a pull, you let go, and they get this rebound. Have you guys ever seen that? No. It's kind of you, because they, you're you're doing traction, like oh that feels so good, pull more, pull more. You're like okay, and you go more, and then all of a sudden, and then you let go, and they're like oh that really hurts, that really hurts. As, as soon as you let go, so you got to be careful, especially with that hot, ridiculous patient. That's just a gentle pull, get it a little bit relief, but don't get too greedy and, and really pull hard because the, if the, as the minute you let go, they have this, this rebound effect sometimes.